How's it going guys? So I've had these pygmy spiny tail skinks for quite a while now and I've noticed a few things in their behavior that makes me want to change up their exhibit. So let's take a closer look at the little depressor. So these guys are doing amazing. They're a bit cold right now. It is the middle of winter. They've been pretty inactive but when they are in a, out and about there's a few things I've noticed. So I added in this other log in the back here and what I did is they never really used it. It didn't really have much use for these guys. So what I did instead is I added some extra bits of bark in between here and then they started using it almost exclusively. So they're actually hanging down inside there now. There's one sitting down just in there. And they love it because they love wedging into some really tight spaces. So it makes them feel really secure and safe and it's what they do in the wild. Obviously, they come out on this big log here to, in order to bask and everything like that. They make full use of that. But when they're not basking or heating up, they're almost always in one of those crevices there. So what we're gonna do today is actually rip out some of these things in the enclosure. And I've got some new branches and logs and other things we can use to hopefully help facilitate the way they like to live their lives. Bloody cute, and they're just so so out there. Those little spiky tails, everything about them. But yeah, all three are doing great. They haven't been eating much lately because it's obviously been quite cool. I'm hoping that this coming season they'll actually breed. They are still a little bit small. They can get a bit bigger than this, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So now that we've got all the lizards out can have a look at some of these logs and how I want to do all the placement. So I've got another piece down here I've just added in. It's got a lot of good little nooks and crannies on the inside of it for the animals to all get into and enjoy. And it looks quite good there on the ground and it also serves as the third point of basking. Obviously you've got there, sort of there, there and on the ground as well. And uh, that's obviously going to stay because they love this uh, bark stack in there that they like to squeeze into. But what I'm thinking is I might sort of extend on this idea, but use it on this as well. So I've actually found this really good uh, sort of half hollow piece here. And I've noticed it actually kind of fits quite perfectly over the top of this. I might need to cut a couple things a bit, but I think something like that will be pretty sweet. And that way they can get right up in there, you know, come right out of the top here and everything like that. So I might just trim off a couple of bits on the main log here so it maybe sits a bit more flush but I think something like that is going to be a winner. This is the basic idea, it fits pretty snug on there, there's more open spaces down along here but then it gets quite uh, thin up here so they'll be able to squeeze right into there and it really just at the end of the day gives these guys a bit more three-dimensional space to use, a bit more surface area and more places for them to hide and feel secure. We'll throw all this browse back in and then we'll throw the animals back in and see how they like it. All right, let's pop these cute little guys back. Let's hope they enjoy it. Let's see if he actually uses it. There he goes. Straight down into it. Here's the other two. <laughs> what I'm after. The animals have plenty of opportunities to hide and feel secure and thus it actually makes them come out a bit more and expose themselves because they know that all they have to do is turn around and they have a quick retreat. You can see he's already using that new bit of bark on the top there for a bit of cryptic basking so that's absolutely awesome. These guys are so funny, so cute. I'm so stoked to have these guys. What an awesome little species and so good to see them doing their natural behaviors just like that. I firmly believe it's important to give your reptiles options and in that they're going to show you all the fun little things that they get up to. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this little update on the depressor. They're some of my favorite little skinks that I have. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, give the video a like and we'll see you next time. Bye.